Hi everyone, Rhonda Gibson here with Cards for Christ. Today I'm starting a new series. It's called Cards for Christ Scriptural, Scripture Journaling. And I'm sorry about that glare. There we go. If I hold it up, you can see it a little better depending on... There we go. Anyway, this is my new uh, journal that I have decided to start working in. And so uh, I wanted to share it with you. And I wanted to do a page with you today. Cards for Christ is the name of my business. And uh, Stampin' Up! is the uh, company that I work with so that I can make cards and, and do Bible journaling and different things like that. So um, anyway, I wanted to incorporate Jesus into my business because this business was started based on him and his word. So that's why I do Cards for Christ. Cards for Christ is something I do where I mail out lots of cards to different churches and things like that to uh, help them in their ministries, uh, their birthday ministries or their sympathy ministries. You know, their, uh, oh, I can't think what it's called, but it's, it's, anyway, that's what Cards for Christ was started as. And then, of course, I do love making cards and I like teaching people how to uh, make cards and I do a lot of casing which is copy and share everything and I do that with other demonstrators uh, I try to give them credit whenever I can but anyway back to why we're here today today we're here because I wanted to start a scripture journaling and I actually had originally called it uh, Bible journaling and I don't really Bible journal like other people Bible journal so it's more of a scripture journaling because with Bible journaling a lot of times you have a special Bible that you use, and you can do your your stuff in the in the sidelines. So you know, like your this if this was your Bible, your columns may be available here for you to draw, write your thoughts down, everything like that. With me, I don't like writing in my Bible, and I don't have a real journaling Bible. So therefore, I like to take and I take a scripture, and then basically I decorate it and I put that scripture on the page, and then I try to memorize that scripture. <clears throat> and the scripture that's on my journal here, which I'm hoping that you can read, even though there is a, a slight glare, maybe if I pull it to the side a little bit, you can see better. But it says, Thy word, let me turn it around where I can read it, because I have not evidently re memorized it well enough. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. Psalms 119.11, and that's the King James Version. Now, I, <laughs> the song goes through my head, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And so that's why I was having a little bit of trouble struggling through that. But that is the whole theme of my scripture journaling, is that I want to hide God's word in my heart. And um, so anyway, I truly believe that Jesus is coming soon. And I want to spread the news that Jesus is coming soon. Some people say, well, Rhonda, they've been saying that for years. And it's true, they have. But the truth of the matter is, Jesus is coming soon, whether it be in our lifetime or our children or our grandchildren's lifetime, he is coming back. So I want to hide the scripture in my heart. I want to be able to use the scripture whenever I need to, to bring it to my mind so that it'll give me comfort or so that I can help somebody else through something they're going through based on the word of God. So anyway, I am going to just dive right in. This is a, uh, first off, let me tell you what I have here. I'm going to pull it out because it's tucked behind here. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me. I still have a cold, or I still have the sound effects of a cold, I guess I should say, or a virus or whatever it is that attacked us a couple of weeks ago and does not want to give up. I picked this up at Walmart. It is their sketch diary, and it's basically just empty pages. It has 70 pages. The book is five and a half by eight and a half inches long. So uh, I really liked it. I thought it was compact and I could use it. I could take it places with me and stuff. So I'm going to set that over there. So that's what this, this book is. This is uh, one of the first ones that I did. I've done several other books, but I'm moving it around a little bit so you can see it. I've done several other books. But like I said, mine is uh, more about using my Stampin' Up! products, my paper pumpkin products, and uh, using it to glorify God and to put his word into my heart. Uh, this one is about gratitude, so I called it with gratitude. It's 1 Thessalonians 5.18. 
and here is the scripture and then I just usually put just a little thought somewhere on the page and this was my thought being thankful is a choice I make we can choose not to be thankful so you know first Thessalonians says uh, in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ or Christ Jesus concerning you so I use that then this is the, the, the another one I did this one yesterday I loved it uh, it was Psalms 107 <clears throat> verse 1 it says give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercies endure forever and my thought was I am thankful Lord that your mercy endures forever if it didn't let's see if it did, thousands upon thousands would be lost. And that's true because uh, God's mercy endures forever. It's been enduring since the beginning of time. So that was what I took away from that, that I am so thankful that I've had this time, that he's coming back. I know he is. But thankfully, I have been born and I've been given the opportunity to accept his grace and his mercy and become a child of God and to live the life that I was meant to live. So... Today we're going to go and we're going to work on another one. Now, as you can see, this page is blank. And I realized with this particular book yesterday that when I was trying to do this part of my this page, uh, this page over here, I had put up the, I had gotten these leaves from Paper Pumpkin, a past Paper Pumpkin kit, and they have a texture to them, and they also have a little depth to them. And then this has popped up on, a, on a Dimensionals. So I realized that when I was trying to do stuff over here, like color and stuff, I was hitting those edges and it was messing my paper up. So I'm going to set my paper over here. And what I did was I went and cut a piece of paper that will fit inside this page. I'll show you real quick that it will just fit right on top of this page. And uh, I'll be able to just put it down and then I can go to the next one. So that is why we're working on a separate piece of paper. And what we're working on today is Colossians 3.15. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also you are called in one body, and be ye thankful. So what I took from that is that we need to let God's peace reign in our hearts. That, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that we're to be thankful and that we're supposed to be uh, called as one body of Christ. So... We should be have peace with each other. We shouldn't quarrel and squabble and, and get all upset at everything. We do because we're human. But we need to be able to put his peace in our heart so that we won't feel that inclination to be like that. So today I wanted to use uh, I wanted to use the stamp set, <coughs> excuse me, peaceful bows as my uh, what I wanted to stamp because I love these and it doesn't have to be a Christmas theme uh, this does not necessarily have to be used for Christmas it can be used for other things it has the dots here has the pine brush I'm assuming those are pine they look like pine to me pine uh, needles and, and branches and then it has the pine cones which that makes sense that I would assume it's pine and then it says seasons greeting and it has a Christmas greeting here I'm not going to use those greetings I'm going to use my scripture so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get out <clears throat> the larger of the stamp sets, and I did not lay out my blocks. Thankfully, I keep them right here beside my chair. I don't think that was big enough. I'm going to have to go with my, this is a e-block. I don't know where my other e-block is. It should be around here somewhere. And as you can tell, it'll fit nicely. I'm also going to use Pretty Peacock, and I'm going to use Shaded Spruce. I'm going to use both of those. And what I have underneath here is uh, our piercing tool. And then I put the black on top of that so I can see my cards better. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm thinking I should have probably made it just a little smaller. But I, that way I can see it. it's going to be at the top there. Okay, we're going to use the Pretty Peacock. And we're going to stamp. I love doing stamping. This is what I... You know, it's funny because I'm a writer also, getting a little bit of story time here. I'm a writer also, and a few, uh, guys, I'm going to have to take that 
out from under there. And I don't really need it because this is the the rubber, the red rubber. If it was photopolymer, the clear, I would probably I would need that, but I don't need it, so I'm just gonna use this. Okay. Anyway, back to my story. Uh, a few months ago, actually, I guess it's been about two years ago, I would I was writing for Harlequin. I was writing Love Inspired novels, and I still have you know the opportunity to do that if I so choose. Um, but my line that I was writing for, the historical Christian line that I was writing for, I'm going to do a second stamping on this. I just want to make it a little lighter. So see, as you can see, they're just a little lighter. And I just kind of want to fill that in a little bit. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to get out my Simply Chamois and clean off my block so that uh, I could go in with the the shaded spruce, you don't want to mix your two inks because it'll mess up your ink pad. And I could just, I, that's actually probably working better. I just got the, the Simply Chamois out of the thing so I could get into those grooves a little bit better. I could have pressed it into it, probably would work just fine. Uh, but anyway, so um, now we're going to go in with the shaded spruce. I'm going to put the, the peacock away. go in. And you know, I'm thinking I may just make this a one big uh, thing. I may go back and forth between the two of them. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, uh, they closed down my historical line that I was writing in. And I had a lot of other things going on in my life at the time. And I just could not see me writing at the moment. I was too... Um, I guess I would call it burned out at the time. And so one of the things I have always loved is coloring. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to kind of go in here and I'm just going to randomly uh, do a bunch because I've decided that this is going to be my whole background. Even though I know I'm going to cover some of it up, I'm still going to do it. And I did accidentally just stamp on my table. That's why you're supposed to have paper underneath you. It would help if I hit the paper, right? <laughs> anyway... Uh, back to my story. So I started stamping again and coloring. And uh, about, I don't know, four years ago, I had decided that I kind of wanted to do this. But then I started writing and I let that get in the way. Now I'm going to just do a little bit of offsetting. Uh, just to cut, Basically, it's kind of cleaning off my stamp is what it's doing. And then I'm going to go back in with the other again. The pretty peacock again. <clears throat> so anyway, I had done it about two years ago. I had thought I might want to do this, and I started, and then of course, like I said, writing got in the way, and I decided not to do it. And so um, when my line went down, uh, God just brought it back into my my heart that I had enjoyed the rubber stamping even back then. And I know I just did that funny, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but that, that branch is going the wrong way. That's okay, because this is my art. This is not going out to anybody but me, and I'm okay with it, so that makes it okay, right? So anyway, um, about two years ago, I started doing Stampin' Up! again, and at the time, I just wanted to do it as a hobbyist. I was not really interested in making any money from it. I just wanted to make cards and let my brain rest because my brain was really just uh, fried. And had I had written 15 books in five years. Uh, before that, I had written 15 or more books. <clears throat> and so I think altogether I have 36 books uh, that I have sold. And um, some of them are out of print now, but I had sold them. So... Um, I'm done with this stamp. I'm going to go ahead and put this away. And you may be wondering why I chose pine cones and, and this. It's because, to me, they're relaxing. But back to my story. I uh, decided a couple of years ago, about a, actually about, not a couple of years ago, about uh, six months ago, that I wanted to um, start selling Stampin' Up! And I wanted to make it a business. 
and it's been slow because I really didn't know how to go about doing it. I knew I wanted to, but I didn't really know how to go about it. So I am still in the process of learning how to go about it. I'm taking classes from Rhonda Wade, and uh, she is really teaching me a lot about how to run a business and everything. So one of the things that I have decided to focus on is a product called Paper Pumpkin. And uh, I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Paper Pumpkin comes with everything you need. If you're interested, I've got videos that are listed under Paper Pumpkin and uh, YouTube and on Facebook in my uh, Cards for Christ Friends group that you can go look at. But anyway, so that's how I got started in the stamping business. So I thought I'd tell you that real quick. Then uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you is... Uh, the reason I wanted to use these pine trees is because they're very relaxing to me. When I was a kid, we lived in West Texas for uh, parts of my life, you know, uh, mainly during the summer times we would go to, to Texas, at least that's how I remember it. And they had, we had, uh, they were actually cedar bushes, I guess, or cedar whatever, but um, they were like little cedar bushes. And you could go underneath them. Me and my little brother would go underneath them, and we would lay, and we would look up, and you could see they didn't have these kind of pine cones. They had these little tiny ones. And, oh, look at my hands. I've got a big old mess on my hands. And um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm getting down in here so I can get some of this ink off my hands. I've got my baby wipes down in this drawer. Anyway, that's why I chose the pine cones, because they're very peaceful, the pine trees. And the branches, they're very really peaceful and they remind me of my childhood and time spent with my little brother um, where we just enjoyed looking up at the trees. And you know, I just realized that I did not leave me a space to write in this, to journal my little scripture thought, so I'll have to fix that. Okay, well, that took care of that. Got that off my hands. That makes me happy. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, because it talks about peace and being thankful, I'm going to go with, uh, back into my early espresso. I think I have a, a dauber that is for my early espresso. If not, I may have to go into crumb cake, and that's okay, too. Uh, I don't have one. There. If you hold on just a second, I'm going to grab another. Uh, I've changed my room around just a little bit, and I moved my dauber, so I'm going to go grab a dauber. Okay, I grabbed it. That was simple and fast. Okay, guys, this is what a dauber looks like. It fits on your finger, and you get them in a pack. You get them, I think, five to a pack, three to five to a pack. I can't remember. Anyway, you can buy them from my store, my online store, uh, which is actually at gibsongirlstamper.stampinup.net. And the reason, um, I was going to call my, have my store called Cards for Christ, but I had already started the Gibson Girl Stamper. What I'm doing right now is I'm just putting some, some color on the edge of this paper. This is plain old copy paper. I did not use, um, I could have ran it through with my, um, white, Whisper White cardstock. But because I don't want this book to become so bulky I can't stand it, I decided I'd just go with this paper and it'll lay flatter. And then if I want to do any more embellishments or anything, I can. But today it's going to be a very simple page. Um, simply because I want, I want to, it to be almost peaceful. I don't know. Some people would say that I have too much going on and it takes, takes away from their peace. <laughs> but for me, it's okay. So... That's the beauty of stamping and of making journals and of making cards. Um, when you're making them, you can make them any way you want to. You don't have to go into a store and be, you know, say, well, you know, this is what they offer, so this is what I have to have. You can do it yourself. And you don't have to sell Stampin' Up. I didn't sell Stampin' Up for a year and a half. I did it as a hobby. I bought what I wanted to and I got a discount on the things that I bought, and I was really thrilled with that. So, if you ever decide you want to do something like that, be sure and just get in touch with me, because I would love to have you on my team. Like I said, my team is called Gibson Girl Stampers, and so whenever I created, what do you think? Whenever I created uh, 
my name. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna do it like that. Okay. When I created my name, uh, I I didn't call it Cards for Christ, and I really kind of wish that I had. But we're Gibson Girl Stampers, and that's okay. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I want to put it at the bottom or if I want to put it at the top. I think I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to put it at the bottom down here. So I'm going to grab my snail adhesive and I'm going to put that right here. And the reason why I'm not right on the edge of that um, is because I'm going to probably have to cut just a little bit off the edges of this because it might be too long and I don't want... I don't want to have to be put, dragging my scissors through tape. Okay, so there we go. And see, you can see I'm going to need to trim. And the nice thing about the dauber is, I can daub, I, now I can daub these edges also. And it'll be okay. Let's try to get a hold of that. See, I'm just doing it now on the, uh, just holding this paper and doing it on this. But I had to hold, I had to do it first because I can't do it up there once it's on here. I might could, but I don't think it look as good. <clears throat> so what do you think, guys? Do you like it so far? I hope so. This is not a live video, uh, and the reason it's not is because my voice is kind of craggy. So I may check this later and say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to redo the whole thing. Which if I do, I do. So it'll be okay. Now, what I'm thinking I might want to do is, um, because I did color all of this in, I don't think a black pen would even show <clears throat> what I'm doing. And so I'm thinking that I will just add it later, my stuff. Now, I do have some little bird embellishments that I can put on this. I also have, this is a paper, I may just do this. This is a little paper pumpkin. This is last month's paper pumpkin kit. Paper pumpkins come with the stamp set and the, and the little spot, the little ink spot, which that one came with Night of Baby, I believe. Uh, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to put, this is a little cardinal bird, but it just looks like a little bird. So I think I'm just going to stamp me a bird on there. <clears throat> I'm going to use the, uh, actually, I don't want to use Stranger Spoofs. I want to use the... Uh, Pretty Peacock, which this is one of our new ink colors, so Pretty Peacock. And I just want to see how to look. Like I said, you know, somebody else may say, Rhonda, that's a cardinal. They're not blue. Well, mine is. I think I'm going to do just like that. What do you think? It added something to it. Not sure if I just want to leave one on there. I, want to add. I think I'm just going to leave one because I like him. I think he's cute. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to do the one. And uh, I like that. So, oops, he's little. I forget he's little and he just got stamped. He came right off there. See, I should have used my photopolymer thing underneath it while ago, but that's okay. And I'm probably getting my hand all gooky again. I need to clean my um, Simply Shammy. Okay. So I'm going to put him back in his little case. And Huh. I know this is it. Oh, I just accidentally covered it up. I'm going, where is he supposed to go? He just this got moved down. Anyway, guys. I hope you like my journal pages. I hope that it will inspire you to do some journaling. I will um, go ahead and put my thoughts right here. What I'm thinking I might do is uh, make like a, a cloud and maybe put my thoughts here at the top, just what I think. And you guys, I told you what I think. I think that um, as I memorize this, let the peace of God rule in, our, in your hearts. Um, I think I'm going to put something like peace. Uh, Lord, help me to develop the peace in my heart uh, to which I've been called to have or something to that effect. So anyway, I will show you that next week. One of the things that I encourage you to do is when you do create something like this 
even though it's kind of dark, I'm going to go ahead and date it. And that way it will help me to uh, remember when I did this. And you can't probably tell that it's dated, but I did date it. And that way it just kind of helps me to keep on track. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my book real quick. Also, I have no idea how long I've been on here. My thing keeps telling me that the frames have been dropped. But I'm going to put it right here in my journal box. My journal book. So I'm very, I, I really like it. Uh, it's got a goomba on the back that nobody's going to see. That makes me happy. And uh, just lightly going over this with my, I'm probably using way more snail than I need to, but I really want it to stay down. And, uh, you know, doing journaling like this just helps me, like I said, to memorize scripture. And uh, that's my purpose, is to memorize the scripture. I'm going to make sure that I get this on this edge. I almost got my paper too big. Okay, there we go, guys. What do you think? Do you want to, if you want to join me in doing this, uh, this is going up on YouTube. So put your comment below. And, and all you have to do is write scripture journaling is for me. And then I'll know that you're working with me on this as well, okay? Guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your business. And Lord above, I mean, <laughs> and guys, above all else, put the Lord first, okay? Because he comes first and he is coming back. So if your heart is not at peace with the Lord, do, do make it so today. Visit your local church uh, and talk to your preacher. If you want to talk to me about it, you are welcome to do so. You can email me at gibsongirlstamper at gmail.com and I will be happy to correspond with you and get our hearts at peace. Until next time, this Gibson girl is saying goodbye. Bye-bye. I wonder if it didn't do it right because I had it on that instead of on the... I don't know. It acts like it's frozen. Just to...